Hello friends, welcome to my super learning channel. Today we are going to see an exciting feature in Microsoft Excel. Please note that this Excel feature is available only with the Office 365 or Excel 2016. You should have Office 365 subscription. Let's get started. So when you go to the data menu, you will see there are two additional data types. This was introduced back in this March 2019. Let me add some of the columns and demonstrate you how to use these features. writing for these companies however I am going to select this and go and click the stocks button and this converts the given data into the data type I leave the header. So now you can see there is a stock icon next to this stock code. So you could see within the bracket what is the exact stock code for that given company. And when I click this information, so however, this is a useful one when you want to have some stock information within your spreadsheet where you want to capture the stock related data and now I am going to introduce few other columns based on the given data type. So when you take your cursor here you can see there is a plus symbol that is to extract further data for these columns. So let me select all three and I am clicking on this. So you could see there are number of columns that you can add using these given data types or fields. So I am going to pick the high values and then so as you click it gets added to the adjacent columns so what is the change what is the 52 week high and 52 weeks low so you could see this data gets filled up so quickly and you know the collecting this information is a big task you have to go to the stocks website and get the data probably you may need to copy the data into a spreadsheet or a csv file and then translate it into the spreadsheet for your computation now this feature comes up very useful for us to do just with a few clicks so in this case we have added these data types using this insert data feature and there is one more option where you can use this to add similar to the excel formulas so i am going to select the column c2 which is the microsoft corporation stock c2 and if you see uh, if I put dot i could get all those fields that i have seen there So 
so you can use this as a formula to add those fields or you can use the plus icon to add those fields to your stock data so how simple it is right so let me show you something else as well i want to clear this data please remember this is not a so for the geography i'm going to use This will pop up getting me the data and by clicking this icon next before the country name you will see an information card or data card. So this shows the public domain information for this country. which is very useful for you to get the data from this and like I said earlier we can use the same method to fetch some more information for the given geography codes now I am selecting a couple of columns and clicking this will get me some additional information like what is the GDP of these countries which is the largest city in this country capital of these countries. So you can go on getting the information. Again this is a very complex task if you are going to do this manually because some of the columns again you need to drill the information from online sources and then you may need to fill in the spreadsheet manually. But this gives a lot of flexibility for you to go and add any column that you require. It is very easy for us to keep adding the column values and if you make this entire thing as a table it will be even more useful for you to manage the data easily because the table is Now if you make this as a table, it, it gives a lot of flexibility like you, you can go and sort them, you can filter the data, you can apply the customized text filters, you can do a custom sort. So all this helps you to filter the raw information in a structured format. Hope you like these features. I suggest you go and explore and try to use wherever you require 
at your work or just play around and learn this if you like this video please share with your friends like and as well don't forget to subscribe to my super learning channel thanks friends see you in the next lecture bye